Hello, it's good to see you. Uh, today we're going to take a look at some of the items I bought while grocery shopping uh, yesterday. I've had a lot of people ask me to do another shop, another grocery haul, um, particularly from Aldi. Unfortunately, um, this week I didn't actually have to buy much. Last week I bought a lot of stuff and this week I only had to get just a few kind of fill-in items. So I don't have a lot to show you, but I will show you what I got. Now some of this came from uh, Walmart and some of it came from Aldi. And I can tell you what came from where. <clears throat> Most of it came from Walmart. Um, I have to tell you about last night. Um, I was up until 1 o'clock this morning making a 40 minute long video doing a whispered reading of brochures only to discover after I finished the video that the audio was completely screwed up and the video was useless. <clears throat> so I was, I was really upset. I was so mad at myself. I was mad at the world because I spent all this time making this video and I stayed up late to make it and it was, it was ruined. It was no good. I just deleted it. Um, I was really upset. So I just went to bed and then I got up this morning to see that the sticker by number video I did, I missed a sticker on the clownfish and people were laughing at me and somebody said I can't go to sleep, you know, and called me a bitch and said, you know, how could you, how could you miss that sticker? It was right there, you dumb bitch. So I just, I almost just feel like just going back to bed. <laughs> And uh, not doing anything today but I can't because it's Sunday and I had several videos planned that I wanted to make today um, and I have to go out of town later this evening and I, I have to hurry up and get them done if I'm gonna do them that's why it's now 730 in the morning and I'm making this video because I have to get started I have to I have to carry on and I'm just gonna pretend that last night never happened um, by the way, I made a separate video about 50 seconds long adding sticker 16 to that card so people will be able to sleep at night, I guess. Anyway, um, just forget about last night. Any videos I made, just forget about it. So we're going to take a look at our groceries that I got yesterday. And it's not a lot, like I said. But the first thing I got, I try to get the loud things out of the way first. And this is one of them and it's, it's right here. Um, and I got this for a video, and this is a video I'm going to make today, hopefully. It is a 12-pack of Nestle Pure Life water. I made a video over a year ago adding drink mixes to bottles of water, and it has suddenly become popular again for some reason, and several people have sent me messages asking me to do another one of those videos. So I got a bunch of boxes of drink mix of different uh, flavors and we're going to add them to these bottles of water. And that's going to be a separate video, obviously, but I had to get the bottles of water to do that. So let me move this out of the way. This thing is really heavy. Okay, so that was the first thing. Now again, like I said, this, there's not much here. A lot of this stuff is just like fill-in stuff and snacks. This is not what we're eating all week. This is not like my meal plan for the week, so don't wag your finger at me. I promise we have fruits and vegetables and good food in there, but not here because I didn't buy any of that stuff yesterday. <laughs> I did buy some strawberries at Costco, but they're in the refrigerator. Um, the first thing I have are these Cheetos Flamin' Hot Baked crunchy snacks cheese flavored and they're they're a little spicy this is an eight and a half ounce bag now my younger son loves these things and um, I don't normally like hot spicy stuff but he asked me to try them one day I didn't really want to he said oh just try it you know you just you never know you might like it I loved them and I cannot stop eating these things I'm addicted to these things they are so good um, I only eat like a handful at a time. I try not to eat a lot, which I really can't because it's just, ugh, they're so spicy. And I know a lot of people don't think they're spicy. That That's fine. That's fine. You don't have to, you don't have to criticize me or call me a bitch or anything. Um, I think they're spicy because I don't really like spicy stuff. So I don't like spicy things that much. 
This is an eight and a half ounce bag and it's actually pretty full. It comes up to about here. You know, a lot of times when you buy bags of snacks, there's a lot of air in there. These don't really have that. Um, so they're flaming hot. They, these do come in different flavors. Um, there's one that's triple, it's like super duper hot. I haven't tried those. These are fine. So those are for, they're for me as much as they're for my son. I'll probably eat more of those than he will. Now along the same lines, we have Chester's fries. Now these come in the regular flavor and the hot flavor, flaming hot. Um, and I, I like the flaming hot ones. They're okay. I like the che the Cheetos a little better, but these are okay. And these are cheaper too. These were only two dollars for this bag. It, it is a little bit lighter. It's five and a quarter ounces. But these things are a, just like a light, puffy, crunchy snack, and they're made out of horrible stuff. I know, but they're not bad. I'll put that over there. Now that stuff came from Walmart, all three of those things. This came from Aldi. It's a loaf of Love and Fresh white bread. And I buy a loaf of this every week. Um, it's 85 cents a loaf. And um, a lot of weeks we, we don't use it all. And you know, I, I don't worry about it a whole lot. I save it um, and I'll stick it in the freezer and use it to make toast later if I have any left over. Or I'll use it for cheese uh, cheese toast or cinnamon toast or something like that um so got a loaf of, of bread from that was from aldi and this is also from aldi my kids love this uh this grape juice this uh, white grape juice from nature's nectar and that is an aldi brand of course it is 64 ounces i like it because if it gets spilled it doesn't stain like you know, regular grape juice does, Concord grape juice, um, because it doesn't have that dark color. See, it has that lovely yellowish color, but it tastes the same. I mean, it tastes almost exactly the same. Now, this came from Walmart, um, and I was, I had to stand in line forever to check out. I hate it when that happens, because when I do, and normally I don't buy things at the checkout. I'll, I'll, I look at it, but I don't buy anything. But I did see this. This is a new thing that I haven't seen there before. This is, um, who made this? It's just called Super Snack, Super Snack Time Pizza in a Bag Pepperoni Jerky. And, um, food is, food is always epic. They also had Supreme Pizza flavor. I'm trying to find out who made this. Super, I guess Super Snack Time is just the brand name. And it comes in this little resealable bag. And of course, it's shaped like a slice of pizza. <laughs> so I bought this to try because I like, I like um, dried pepperoni like that. So I thought I would try it. <clears throat> and I like this too. They have this up by the register. This is Jack Link's Bacon Jerky, which is really good. It's a thick cut hickory smoked bacon jerky. It's so delicious. Um, let me see here. It's only two and a half ounces, and I think it was four dollars. This is made by Jack Link's Meat Snacks, and this is also a resealable bag here. Um, I really enjoy that stuff. Okay, so that was from Walmart, and this is also from Walmart. This is for my cats, obviously. Um, this is Smarty Cat Organic Catnip. I had some that was really, it was supposed to be super potent or whatever. I got it on Amazon, but they've about, they've about consumed all of it. Um, so this, I, this was two dollars and I just grabbed this because I wanted them to have a little bit of catnip. It's a half ounce bag, like I'm buying weed or something. But it's not. It's kind of like cat dope. I, actually, I call it, if I say dope too loud, the cats will come in here because they know when I say that I'm getting the catnip out. <laughs> They're smart. Oh, and this came from Walmart too. I told you, I bought weird stuff yesterday. This is a sewing kit. See? And it comes in this little case like that. 
Well, you can't see because of the glare. Sorry, the sun is messing with me this morning. I mainly bought this for the scissors in here. Um, I want to make, I got this for a video. I want to make a video of, I want to make two different videos of little sounds. And one of the little sounds I want to do is tiny scissors snipping. They make a lovely sound. And I don't know if these will be good, but there was only one way to find out. I had to buy the sewing kit. This was only $1.59 for this sewing kit. And I don't really need it, but I thought it was worth it if the scissors work, make a nice sound. There's a bird outside really going crazy. He's, he's really lonely this morning or something. I don't know. If he were a person, he'd be one of those people who posts, you know, selfies every five minutes. And I don't know. I'm in a weird mood this morning. Okay, so here, these are for the cats. And I can't shake this container because they know the sound of this too. I'm, I give them, I give them uh, cat treats. Usually right before I make a video, I'll give them some. Um, and that way they don't scratch at my door and try to get in while I'm making my video. <laughs> if I don't give them a treat before the video, they will do that every time. These are uh, from the brand Temptations. And it's so funny because look, the cat is going after that chicken. And the chicken actually looks happy about it like he's a... Like he's some sort of a masochist or something. I don't know. He's smiling. And he's freaking out so much his feathers are coming out. But he's smiling because the cat wants to eat him. I love the pictures on these Temptations things. They're so funny. If you really look at them, some of them are just ridiculous. <laughs> oh, yeah, the sun's coming up. It's making it really bright in here. This is a 16-ounce container of cat treats. Now it has an opening. Both cats are sitting down here looking at me. Uh, I can't, literally, I can't move this. If they hear it, they will probably try to jump up here. There's an opening here that you can pop the lid open and pour them out. This is the uh, tasty chicken flavor. I'm going to set that down. And I also bought Sheba Perfect Portions wet cat food. Now I give them mainly dry food, but twice a day, first thing in the morning and later in the evening, I will take one of these perfect portions. See, it's perforated so you can crack it and break it and just use one part. I give them one part. They share this part in the morning and the other part in the evening. This is some um, delicate whitefish and tuna entree. It, it, um, I checked the unit price on these. You can buy them in packs of 8 or 16 and 32, I think. But right now, as far as the unit price goes, it was cheaper to buy them individually. So I bought some, I just bought some loose ones because it actually worked out to be cheaper to buy them that way. Which usually that's not the case. Um, it's usually less expensive to buy the big box of them. But not this week. This is another, another flavor I got. These are the cuts of uh, roasted chicken entree. Um, and I got one, two, three, four, five, six of those. Um, they really like the uh, roasted chicken. And sometimes they're out of it, so I got six of those. Probably should have gotten more, but <clears throat> that's fine. All right, this is for me. Yes, I know soda's bad for me. This is one reason why I don't do these videos very often because people criticize what I buy and tell me I'm gonna die within five minutes and I'm gonna go to hell for it or something, I don't know. So I don't like doing these videos because people complain about the things I purchase. And to be honest, sometimes it gets old. Um, this is mine, this is Pepsi Zero Sugar. Yes, I know it's not healthy, yes, I know that. Thank you. I like it anyway. And I'm going to drink all of it. And then I'm going to buy more. This. These are flour tortillas. And these come from Aldi. Now my older son loves to eat these by themselves. And we have a little running joke in the house about uh, flour tortillas. This one time, probably two years ago, 
I bought some flour tortillas in another store. <clears throat> and I don't remember what brand they were, but I brought them home. And what he likes to do, he likes to take one out of the package and then fold it over, fold it again, and he just eats it. Just, just plain. He just eats them like they are. And this one brand that I bought, he did that. Um, he took one out, folded it up, took a bite, and said, Oh, these are nasty. They taste like napkins. <laughs> he said, You bought a bag of napkins. These are horrible. <laughs> so now every time I buy him flour tortillas, and he loves these more than any other brand I've ever bought, which is great because they're really cheap. They're only $1.29 per pack at Aldi. So when he brings them home, he'll always say, Oh, thank you for not buying napkins. We still laugh about it. It's it's lame, but we still laugh about it. <laughs> now this here, this came from Aldi. This is the Boulder brand, which is an Aldi brand of, um, they make paper products, um, and they make uh, trash bags, storage bags, like little Ziploc bags. These are Tall Kitchen drawstring bags with flex odor control. And this is the fresh scent, which honestly, it doesn't really smell like anything. I, I can't ever really smell anything. They also have lavender scent. I didn't really like that one. It smells funny. But um, these are really inexpensive, and I was running low. This is a box of 40 of the 13-gallon size bags. So, not much to say about that. <clears throat> And this I bought for Charity for a video I want to make uh, uh, for her later today if I can bring myself to do it. Um, if I can, I don't know. I'm going to try. But this is Welch's Sparkling Sangria. It's not alcoholic. It's um, just a flavored juice cocktail blend of grape juice and orange juice from Concentrate. Um, I thought about doing a uh, video where it's her birthday. Yeah, so I thought she might like to have something to drink. She seems to always have some sort of beverage, you know. So I got that for her. And that came that actually came from Aldi. And this also came from Aldi. This is um Aunt Aunt Maple's syrup. <laughs> like Aunt Jemima, I guess. Aunt Maple's light syrup. And of course, yeah, this is for pancakes or waffles or whatever. Nothing really all that fancy. It's 24 ounces. And I love this because it's really cheap. I think it was about a dollar. I mean, it was, yeah, it's a really good deal for 24 ounces of syrup. It'll take us forever to use this up. But I made, I made, um, every now and then I'll make breakfast for dinner. And I did that one like night last week and I thought I had enough syrup. And I did not have enough syrup for everybody. It was a, it was a catastrophe. Oh, this has a jingle bell on it. This came from Walmart. It's cat toys. I got this one. This little jingle bell. It has a wand that you hold. And my cats love toys like that that have a wand. And you, you know, you dangle it down. They love it. They both love that. So it comes with a kicker. And it's a little crinkly. Like if you squeeze it. And there's a a bulb in there and I'm thinking it squeaks if you squeeze it so I'm not going to it has crinkly stuff and multicolored feathers the first thing they'll do is chew these feathers off they will do that immediately but it's uh, I think it's catnip infused so they like playing with stuff like that um, it just looks absolutely terrified <laughs> so I got these little toys for the cat And, of course, I'm sorry I don't have any toaster tarts this week. Um, <clears throat> I don't need any yet. I was, you know, we don't need them. So, but I did get my Southern Grove Mixed Nuts. These are mine. And I take them to work and I eat them as a snack there. 14.75 ounces. I do notice that the price on these has gone up a bit. They're uh, $4.99 now. For a long time, they were about four thirty nine, but now they've been at four ninety nine for about two months, and it hasn't come back down. But it's still good. It comes with um, peanuts, whole cashews, pecans, almonds, and Brazil nuts. 
and it's a nice mix and it is uh, it has sea salt and I like it because it's not super salty like some of them are it's really not bad at all it has just the right amount of salt on it and these I also got these these came from uh, Walmart these are the Atkins um, meal meal shakes and sometimes I drink these in the morning just for breakfast I'll just have one of these um, because they really do keep me from getting hungry until lunchtime and it's something quick I can have in the morning when I get to work I can I usually when I get into work I will start my computer up and while I'm reading my email that came in overnight um, I will drink one of these this is the milk chocolate delight flavor um, I tried the dark chocolate I didn't like it and I, I really didn't like that one but the milk chocolate is okay oh and over here and I, I don't know I'm even gonna try to pick this up this is a 12 pack of Pepsi zero sugar wild cherry flavor I'm gonna drink all those too <laughs> yes I know I'm going to die from it I'm gonna drink them anyway um, so I want to show you the, the uh, drink mixes that I bought. I bought seven, seven different flavors. Now these are orange. These are crush orange flavor. And they're just little packets. There are six in here. And you add the little packets to bottles of water. And you just shake it up. And it, you know, obviously flavors the water. So I did get, I got orange flavor. And these are crush also. These are so it's so bright in here right now. The sun is coming in more than I thought it would. I have pineapple flavor. And again, you get six packets in here. Now, let's see. The other five are Hawaiian Punch. I got Wild Purple Smash. Um, my kids love the... That one is great flavor. Polar Blast, which I guess is flavored like it's... Arctic cat flavored or something. I have no idea. It just, I don't know, it tastes like some generic flavor. I don't know. It's kind of a bluish green color. <clears throat> and then I got Orange Ocean. And if you ever see the ocean and it's orange, you probably need to go back home because something's wrong. Um, I, it's orange flavor. But of course, they have to give them interesting names for marketing and such. Fruit Juicy Red. Now this one's my favorite. I love the I love the red Hawaiian Punch because, you know, growing up that was Hawaiian Punch. It was red. Everybody had the red Hawaiian Punch. Uh, well, we had Flavor Aid because my mom didn't want to spend the extra money for Hawaiian Punch, so she bought the cheaper Flavor Aid if she bought it at all. Most of the time, she just tells us to drink water. And then Blueberry Typhoon. I I don't even know what it, Berry Blue Typhoon. Um, which I've never been through a typhoon, but it probably doesn't taste like that. Um, the little Hawaiian punch dude looks happy about it, so I guess it's okay. So anyway, we're going to be taking one of each of these seven flavors and adding them to bottles of water, and we're going to do that in a separate video. I'm going to remove the labels off the bottles so you can see it mixing better, because I had a couple people ask me if I would do that, you know, take the labels off so we can see the mix going into the water and changing the color. So I'm going to do that later today after I put all this stuff up, clear it out, and get ready to do it. So yeah, it's not a lot of stuff. Well, like I said, I bought a bunch of stuff last week um, and I, I haven't made a grocery haul in a while because I just, I don't know, people just criticize what I buy and sometimes I get tired of it. but. A lot of people asked me to do one, so I wanted to do it for y'all. So I'm doing this for those of you who wanted to see another one. Um, maybe in the next one I'll have more, more stuff, but that's all I have for this one. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Not just this video, but all the stuff that you watch. I, I really do appreciate it. Um, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I will see you again soon.